Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a collection I recently purchased and this one has is probably one of the best speculations I've ever made. And now this collection, I've been buying a lot of reserve list cards. I've been very open about that. I've not been trying to hide that. Uh, reserve list cards and popper cards. Uh, popper I like for different reasons. Popper I like because you can get hundreds of copies of some of these cards for pennies and then suddenly it becomes a dollar. But reserve list cards will always be, they will always be reserve list cards. Now, in case you guys don't know, uh, this particular card, Ancestral Knowledge, was probably worth less than 10 cents uh, a few months ago. Now it is trending at a whopping 10, 12 dollars as of this recording. And as you can tell, yeah, I have a bunch. So now we do have to talk a little bit about the retail price versus the, no, and then here was another bunch of res reserve list cards I own. We do have to talk a little bit about retail price versus actual price. Now, do I think anyone's actually going to pay me $10 for this card? Definitely not. But needless to say, it is in demand. And if you bought it for 10 cents or 15 cents, even getting $1.50 for it is pretty good. So I'm just going to go over. Uh, this is actually $17. I have lots of these. I just don't know where they are. I didn't buy in this particular collection. Uh, Carnivorous Bloom is a very good one. Cone. Heat Stroke. Uh, as I've said before, the, the uh, Edicts have done very well. I mean, it doesn't take much for a 10 cent card to go up into, you know, to get very pricey. And the Edicts, I've done very well on the Edicts because that is not a card that anyone would ever want until now. The Chaos Spear, not bad. Now, here's another one, Dingaroo. So Dingaroo is definitely something that I look at and I smile because it is from Homelands. As many of you know, I am a big fan of Homelands. I, I think Homelands, in addition to Norway's, I have the Kroskin Fall. The buy-in at Homelands was so inexpensive that there's, I mean, there was nowhere for the card to go but up. Uh, these were this, I collect Bounty of the Hunt. Uh, so back in the day, I thought Bounty of the Hunt would be the really good one, not Force of Will. <laughs> sometimes you make mistakes, sometimes, yeah. Uh, Land of War Elves. From Unlimited. Okay, so here I'm trying to get these. These are the Antiquities Urza Lands. Very pricey nowadays. Uh, something that I look at and I say, wow, that's uh, pretty pretty interesting where it has got, got into. Even something like this, Soros Path, probably will go up. Uh, Orgbox Justice. Uh, this is a card worth some money right now. Uh, previously, it was worth no money. And if you want to take the prime example of a rando card who you look at and then I, lo I look at this and it just doesn't seem very good to me, but hey, it's a four or five dollar card now. Grim Feast used to be five cents, it's five dollars. And if you want to go deep, this is deep. This little bottle thing, Majig, is now worth money too. Like, it is fascinating. Um, it is surprising, and to be quite honest, a lot of it does not make too much sense to me. Like, I get it, like, if ancestral knowledge goes up from 15 cents or 25 cents to $1.50 or $2, but for that card to go up to 10, I look at it and I say, okay, this card is definitely not power level worth uh, $10. But anyway, I, I don't have any right to complain because... I'm benefiting from this. And these collections, they still exist. How do I know they exist? Because I've been picking them up. So what you need to know about this type of collection, no one in their right mind knows this is a $10 card. Quote, $10 card. No one in their right mind thinks this is a $2 card. 
because when you play when I played with it, so I watched some YouTube videos about people picking up stuff in bulk, and it's like, oh, hey, I picked up 40 Zendikar fetch lands in bulk for $100. And this is like, okay, that doesn't happen because at all points in time, those fetch lands are worth money. There's no, there's no way that like you're pitching, picking up so if you buy a collection for $100, it shouldn't come up with $200 of fetch lands because that person's not an idiot. Here, you look at the card and unless you are up to date on magic, like up to date within the last month, you don't know this is happening. This is the wild, wild west. And when you talk about it, like it's, it's hard to understand that a dingaroo is now 5 or $6 because, I mean... It's a Dingaroo, or a Chaos Bear, like, not the best card, or an Edict is 4 to $5 now, like, very difficult to, even now, even when I look at the prices, I'm like, hmm, and I have to check the price at multiple places, like TCG Player and then eBay to see actually if this is true, because clearly when the Edict went up, I was like, oh, man, I own like a bazillion of those. The cone, I mean, the, the big baddie, I think, is this one, because this is 10 to $12 now, at least of the, this time of recording. And look at how many I have. Like, it's just, you couldn't set these on fire. Like, man, it's, uh, it's 13 of them. So, theoretically, it's $130 that I probably paid for less than a dollar for all of them. Overall, you can... There's two ways. There's two ways to think about this. You can either say, "All right, I'm just going to wait out the bubble," and it is a bubble. I'm just going to wait out the bubble and hope that you know these cards go down in price, which they won't because they're on the reserve list, and none of the reserve lists are going to go down. That's my honest opinion. Or you can join into it. It is a lot of fun to go to a flea market or a garage sale or Craigslist. These collections, these still exist. Let me tell you. Uh, a story there is a guy and I pay good price because it's my reputation I'm easy to find I own a digital marketing agency I do Pokemon Go events like it's not it's not worth it to me to host someone because this Houston is a very small and especially the Magic the Gathering community in Houston so I just tell them up front, okay, this is the retail value, but I don't think you're going to get that, and I make a fair deal. These collections are everywhere. Anyway, bye guys.